So here's a video on how to make yourself a little smoker. So here's the wire I bought. I got it at a vape shop. So this is going to be really easy. Here's the parts. It's an old 9 volt battery plug. Already stripped the ends. These are little These are little, um, hang on, pop them over here. Copper sleeves. You can use whatever, like the end of a God, focus. My baloney fingers. Anyway, it's just a little piece of copper tube. You can use the end of a lug if you want, like a little electrical lug or whatever. I'm using that as a crimp. So you got two of those. So the wire, which I've got into a big mess. You're going to want a piece about as long. For 9 volts, you want a piece about as long as, I'd say, your big finger. So, maybe a little more. If I had a ruler on here. So, about a little longer than the lighter, I guess. So, we'll cut that off. <clears throat> Piece of wire. So this is a pretty much almost done. Take your little sleeve, thread your wire through. Focus, you piece of shit. Anyway, the wire is threaded through the little hole. Take another end of your thing. Also thread that through. So now both of them are threaded through. Pliers. Oh, for Christ's sake. This is hard to do with the phone and all this shit. Try it again. So yeah, this is the fun part, actually. Getting it to stay in the damn hole. There it's in. Oh, fuck. This is a good video, eh? The video of me fucking it up. Okay, there, it's in there. And then you just crimp it. See me? I'm not even holding it here. There. So you can see I got it crimped using the little piece of copper tube as a crimp, basically, is all. So now you have one side crimped on and the other side loose. This is the chance you have now to make a coil. So I usually just find a uh, I don't know, like a rod or something. Let's just use this pen. Fuck it. So you just wrap it. I can't hold it underneath. Wrap it around. This is gonna be crude because I'm just just ripping it together here. But anyway, once you got it wrapped around. Once you get a coil made, anyway, you just make a goddamn coil out of it. Sure, you can do that part. There's the worst coil ever. Um, then you just take your other end, your other wire, positive or negative, doesn't matter, by the way. It's just 
voltage going through a wire. There's no positive or negative, so just pick one. And then we'll feed this motherfucker. See if I can do this one a little bit. Usually the second one's easier because the thing's not falling all over the floor. Make sure you twist your wires up good, too, so that it uh, doesn't get hooked. So we'll feed that in there. So he's in. In there now. And then, same idea, give her a crimp. At least I did this one on camera. Squish it down good. So there, now you have this. Right? And you're pretty much done. <laughs> so you can, you know, this is be squished up better. Just make sure the coils aren't touching each other. And then the only thing you need now. It's like a roll of this uh, fiberglass cloth or whatever. You can use a gob insulation if you want to out of the basement. Anyway, I just take a little string of this. Just make sure it's fiberglass. That's all. Don't use like cotton because it'll just burn in there. So you take your little string of cotton or fi fuck cotton, fuck fiberglass, and uh, just wind it in around your coil but whatever you don't have you don't have to see how I do that as long as you wind it in around the coil so it's like a little leaf and then I'll show you what <clears throat> so then you have uh, hang on, I'll, I'll put it in there anyway just stay I think the cat's locked in the branch Okay, so like I said, you can do a better job at this than I do, but you're just basically making a wick is the idea here. You can tie it in a knot too. <laughs> there, that that's actually probably good enough. That's how the one I bought looked. It was just a little thing tied on there, like a little rope. Anyhow. Then you find, like, a glass container or whatever it is that uh, you want to use. And, like, say if you want... I'm not going to use this. Like, but if this was glass, this had a metal top. Then you just punch your two little holes in there. And uh, put your smoker element in. I'll show you what this looks like when you put power into it. It's going to probably just burn the cloth thing. But if I, oh, I don't have a 9-volt battery, so you're just going to have to look at it with a fake 9-volt battery hooked up to it here. But this is the idea. So if you're looking at the element, see how it gets red? You can do that over and over again. It's like a toaster element. So it's not smoking now because there's no baby oil soaked all over it. So that's the idea. So once you have that part made, then you just need... A little mini air pump to pump air in so you'd need two more holes in your little container so you need your two wires going into your little container for your this thing and then two other holes going in the lid so that's four holes all together one hole is for air to blow in and the other hole is for air to blow out and you just use little tubing or whatever for that like little plastic tubing you can buy it at Canadian Tire or you might have some sitting around for the aquarium even aquarium tubing works fine too you can figure like the tube stuff the hardest part is find little those little glass jars as you've seen that's the best thing that I've found so far it just gets hot on the outside but that's literally all it is it's it's real simple <laughs> 